Josh, you guys are able to get off to a really strong start tonight, second out of a back-to-back against -back a really good team. Just what did you feel out there to, to get the get the things going early for you guys? Yeah, uh, that, you know, started well, I think. Um, out the gates, we made them kind of play to their secondary options. You know, DeRozan, I mean, the the second half, DeRozan was doing whatever he wanted. But that first, you know, quarter and a bit, I think we made him make – I mean, he makes tough shots, but we, you know, base blocked his shot. We made him miss some tough ones. Um, but I think in that second half, you know, me, you know, included, I think we were late in rotations when they were posting Vucevic up. Um, DeRozan, we needed to be tighter in our shells, make him see presence. But at um, the end of the day, those guys made tough shots. I think for the most part, we competed well. But – um, you see, against good teams like this, it requires a full 48 minutes, which uh, we didn't put together. Yeah, and just to go back to that defense, you guys had 10 blocks tonight, and Baines, Isaiah Poku, all of them had over three. Just what what led to that, and what was kind of the emphasis on that in the report for you guys? Yeah, um, you know, that's, you know, when, especially when Vooch is getting a down low, we know he's a, you know, he's a score first mentality. So, um, you know, they were able to get tips on that. Um, Baines is an elite defender. Um, he gets one of the toughest matchups every night, and he does his job. Um, so he, he's great around the ring. But those other guys, you know, just chipping in rotations, being in that low man spot, um, you know, it allows them to, to make plays on the ring. And, you know, K. Rich and Poke are both big. So, uh, Roby, sorry. Um, so it allows them to play above the ring and, and um, stop shots. Josh, uh, what do you think of the fact that Baze is guarding DeRozan some possessions and which pitch some possessions? I mean, he just seems to be a, a Swiss Army knife, like the guy you can put anywhere. Yeah, he's he's really versatile, and as I said, he's an elite defender. Um, he's long, he's quick, he's athletic, um, great laterally, um, and you know he guards one through five. He was on Kobe White for a little bit, DeRozan, Vucevic, so he can guard anyone. Um, and and it's a real real luxury to have, especially when we've got Lou, who's going to usually guard that primary ball handler, and then we can kind of put Bayes on that next best, whether it's a one man or whether it's a five man, it doesn't matter. So, uh, luxury to have, and um, he was awesome for us. For you as a guy that's on the ball a lot, if a team is putting a different defender on you primarily as the course of the night goes on, is that can that bother you? You know, the way that, that you all mix and match bases assignments. Yeah, um, I mean I mean it's different. Like Dasumu was kind of backing up at that the guy off the bench that came in was kind of picking me up full court. So different guys um play differently, uh pick the ball up differently. So just adjusting to that. It usually takes me one position, I figure out what they're doing. Um, but yeah, I mean, over the course of the night, you're going to see different, you know, teams go under teams chase over. So, you know, every game, every possession, you're going to see a different coverage and, um, it's just about kind of adjusting on the fly. And that's the role of a point guard, I guess, is being able to kind of dictate what the defense is doing and, and try and exploit it. Josh, I know they might become routine for you at some point, but just your thoughts on getting your second triple double tonight. Yeah, I mean, as Mark would say, Skittles, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's cool. I would have been happy if it came in a win, but, um, I mean, my teammates do a good job of getting in the right spots, uh, making shots, so they make me look good. Super random question. Um, with the Super Bowl tomorrow, and I'm just curious, how did you become a fan of American football? Um, I think – that's a good question. I think on Sunday – one Sunday, I, I turned the TV on and I couldn't find anything to watch, and I put the football on, and I just – I loved it. Um, I started – I think it was – Mahomes was the guy that was playing – um, and ever since then, I've just, I've loved football. I've kind of understood it more. I went to a few OU football games um, and I was standing on the sideline and I could, it's really kind of, when you're there, you understand the game and you pick things up a bit more. So um, at the start, I had no idea what was happening, but as I gradually picked the game up a bit more, I've started to love it and um, watch it all the time. I'll be watching tomorrow. So uh, big NFL fan. Usually on the quarterback and just trying to see what they're seeing out there. Yeah, that, I mean, quarterbacks obviously my favorite to watch. Um, just the way they pass, and especially the elite ones like Mahomes. Um, yeah, love watching him. But yeah, quarterbacks in general, just the way they kind of lead their teammates to the ball. Um, you know, you have to have vision of a, the whole field um, to hit your wide receivers or whoever it is. Um, so yeah, quarterbacks definitely people I watch. Being on the sidelines and Norman and Stillwater. College football is obviously a huge deal in Oklahoma. What have you thought of those atmospheres? It's awesome. I was at um I was sidelined at the uh, OU versus Oklahoma State game. Um, that was in OU and that was awesome. I mean the atmosphere is uh, crazy. Um, I knew how big college football was, but it was my first ever game going to. So, um, yeah, it was an awesome atmosphere to be in. Your next game will be at the Mecca of Basketball, Madison Square Garden. What would would that mean anything actually to you? Playing For sure. Um, you know, it's probably the most famous arena in the world. Um, this is that's one game I've had circled on my calendar for a while. Um, been looking forward to going to the Garden. So the Knicks are no joke. Um, they're a tough team to play against. This is a tough road trip. Um, we've played three really good teams, New York included. So um, we're going to have to bring it for forty eight minutes to to get that game. Anyone else? We have one last question on the Zoom. Go ahead and your slide.
just curious your your thoughts on Aaron Wiggins getting uh, a full time contract with the Thunder, um, and kind of your perspective on his journey through his rookie season. Yeah, I uh, love Wiggs. Happy for the kid. Um, he deserves it. He's he's done his role. Um, I mean, from the fifty fifth pick, you know, you, you, when you come into a team, you're probably uncertain of you know whether you're going to be in the G League, um, whether you're going to be getting minutes in the rotation. And to Wiggs' credit, he stuck with it all year. Um, wasn't playing a lot at the start. Then moved into a starting role. Um, was when Lou was out, was put on the best player every night. Um, so Wiggs is awesome. He's a great kid. He works hard. Um, you know, you never hear you never hear someone say a bad word about him. So uh, really happy for him, and he deserves it. Thanks, guys.